A former top official at the state department who was serving under Donald Trump. He was actually appointed by Donald Trump, man by the name of Robert Destro. Mr. Destro has admitted to the Washington post that on January 6, 2021, as the post describes it right around the time, thousands of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol, Mr. Destro over at the state department was meeting with two prominent election deniers, men by the name of Joel Altman and Matthew DiPerno. Altman is a popular right-wing podcaster and DiPerno is a lawyer who at one point actually had access to the voting machines under a court order and then released a report saying they were manipulated. And upon review of the report, even Republicans said, this is flawed beyond belief. Nevertheless, these two individuals during the Capitol riot, it appears, were welcomed into the state department to meet with a top Trump administration official to talk about the alleged coup taking place, not the one on the Capitol, but the one to steal the election from Donald Trump, right? The imaginary coup. And again, they're doing this while the real coup is literally taking place down the street. This is the first time that this story has been confirmed by a member of the state department, the man they actually met with, uh, 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 Destro, sorry, excuse me. But before this Altman had said on multiple podcast appearances that he had been meeting with state department officials that, you know, he was at the top of the top there talking about all this so-called election fraud and all these things and all the ways that they were trying to steal the election. And as I mentioned, DiPerno, the lawyer had actually in December of 2020 under a court order, got access to the voting machines. He puts out this report saying, oh my God, these machines were manipulated. This was in Michigan. Uh, but then even the Michigan Republicans looked at it and they said, yeah, that, that didn't happen. Your report is just flawed beyond comprehension almost. And they were welcomed into the state department folks. This coup attempt from Donald Trump, which is what it was goes further than we knew. I like, I always say like, we're just finding out new information all the time. We're getting new players in this plan all the time. Mr. Destro is just the latest in a long line of people that have been exposed in the last couple of months as playing some kind of role, either actively or passively in entertaining these ideas that somehow the 2020 election was not only stolen, but could be overturned. I have a couple other points I got to make here because this is just too important. This is from Washington post. Of course, Altman has also described the meeting suggesting he had a series of high level meetings with officials at the state department and asserting that they were impressed by information he presented that he claimed proved the election was stolen. He has been coy about naming the officials. And he started boasting about that on January 11th. So we still don't know at the moment whether or not Destro was the only person he met with, whether it was just the one meeting and he's embellishing saying I've had meetings, maybe he misspoke or was he invited there repeatedly? Like how many times did this guy go there? Who all did he speak with? Of course, nobody wants to give the Washington post any information beyond just confirming. Yes, I met with this person this time. So we need answers. And that's one of the things when we get reports like this, they actually just give us more questions than they do answers. Yes. It tells us that Destro was involved. He was a Trump appointee at the state department. In fact, um, he was serving as an assistant secretary of state, an assistant secretary of state. And this just bombshell just drops on Wednesday. And, and what, what do we do? Right? I mean, that's the big question. Like, what do we even do with this new information? The answer is we need a special prosecutor. And I'm almost getting tired of saying that, but the DOJ has to get up on this particular issue because we are learning too much. We are learning too much about potential criminal activity, depending on what these men did with their plans. If they just discussed it, really that's not a crime. Okay. Discussing it is not a crime. If they wanted to move forward with any actions, if they laid out a plan and said, we are going to do this, 
then you get into some legal gray areas. And if they attempted to do anything based on their plans, it is likely that it did break the law, but we won't know that till we get a proper investigation from the department of justice. The January 6th committee has their hands full. They can't do all of this. The DOJ has to step in and they have to step in immediately because there's so many stones that have yet to be unturned. And I don't think that the January 6th committee and even the best reporters in the country, I don't think they can do it all without the help of the DOJ. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.